Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix error code CE1064450 on PS5. Method 1. Power cycle the PS5 and router. First, turn off the PS5 console by pressing and holding the power button until you hear a second beep. Now, unplugging the PS5's power cable. Next, turn off the router and modem, then unplugging them from the power source. Wait for about 10 minutes and then plug it back in and turn it on again. Wait for the router to reconnect to the internet. Replug the power cable on the PS5 then turn it on and check if the error code CE1064450 is gone. If not, try move the PlayStation closer to the router. After that, if the issue persists then use a wired connection with an Ethernet cable. Connect an Ethernet cable from your router or modem to the LAN port on the back of your PS5 console. Now go to settings. Go to network. Go to settings. Select set up internet connection. Choose use a LAN cable. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup and test the connection. Check if the error code CE1064450 is gone. Method 2. Check the PlayStation Network status page. Go to PlayStation Network service status on the browser. Check if there are any issues or alerts affecting the PSN services, such as gaming and social, PlayStation Store, PlayStation Now, PlayStation Video, or PlayStation Music. If there are any issues or alerts, wait for Sony to resolve them and try again later. If there are no issues or alerts, the problem may be on your end or your PS5 console. Method 3. Change DNS and MTU. To do that, just go to Settings. Select Network. Select Settings. Select Setup Internet Connection. After that, go to your connected option depending on how you connect, it can be the Wi-Fi or LAN cable. Next, press option button on the controller. Select Advanced Settings. Go to DNS Settings then press X button on the controller to select it. Select Manual. Here, I will use Cloudflare DNS. So, I will select Primary DNS then type 1.1.1.1. Next, select secondary DNS and type 1.0.0.1. Additionally, you can also try with other DNS such as Google DNS, OpenDNS, etc. Once done, select OK. Then check if the error code CE1064450 is gone. If not working, one more time, come back here. After that, select MTU settings. Select manual. Select MTU then change the value to 1473. Select Done. Select OK. Once more time, check if the error code CE1064450 is gone. Method 4. Try connecting to a different internet network or the router. If you have more than one router, Try replacing the router you are using with another router. We do this to eliminate the possibility that the problem is caused by the router's strict security features. If that's not possible, try connecting to a different internet network, such as a neighbor's wireless network, mobile data, etc. 
Then check if the error code is gone. Method 5. Rebuild the database. Turn off your PS5 console by pressing and holding the power button until you hear a second beep. The power indicator will blink for a few moments before turning off. Once the console is off, press and hold the power button again. Release it after you hear the second beep. One beep will sound when you first press, and another 7 seconds later. Connect your controller to the console with a USB cable. Now press the PS button on the controller. Go to Clear Cache and Rebuild Database. Select Rebuild Database. Wait for the process to complete and restart your PS5 console. Most of the time, this method will help you to fix all problems. Finally, if none of the above methods work for you, then reset PS5, reinstall system software. This is a last resort, but it may be necessary if the error is caused by a corrupted system file. That's it guys. Hope this is helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch or leave a comment. Thanks.